On this day in history, June 14th, 1777, the Continental Congress adopted the Stars and Stripes. It's now celebrated, as we do today, as Flag Day in America. Earlier during our editorial meeting, the show team lampooned me, really. They made fun of me when I joked that soon progressives will want to change the flag, kind of like they want to change monkeypox. But I said progressives would claim the flag once represented a union that allowed slavery. Well, I was wrong. It will not happen soon. It's already happening. The D.C. mayor took it upon herself to line Pennsylvania Avenue with flags showing 51 stars. Mayor Bowser says her city should be its own state, never mind the Constitution that declares D.C. a federal district. It, by definition, can't be a state. Starting in 2020, she pulled the same stunt. Democrats love the idea of D.C. statehood because it would add two senators. But Bowser, a progressive, leaves out progressives' real dream of not only adding D.C., but Puerto Rico as well. 52 stars, if you really want to make a new flag. That would add four Democrats to the Senate. Back to the real old glory. President Eisenhower selected the current design back in 1958, and it is the only design of the American flag to last 60-plus years since we haven't added a state since then. And no matter how the flag changes in the future, our current flag, will always look down upon Earth. There are six American flags on the moon, a reminder every day and every night that we are the only people to ever visit the moon. The only people. China recently put a flag on the moon, but they didn't send a human to do it. They sent a robot, which in our book doesn't count. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.